The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's going on, yo? Good morning. Hope you have a great day. I hope you're feeling well, and if you're not feeling well, you figure out how to feel well. One of the things that I can't get off my mind is how these politicians that run our cities and towns have the nerve to allow our communities to be destroyed by illegal immigrants coming in here. I was watching uh, on TikTok a, a news, independent news place from Chicago called More Real News. I think it's M-O-O-R-E, Real News. And there was a lady standing at a podium speaking to Brandon Johnson and some of the different constituents that they have that, you know, are leaders for each one of the different areas in Chicago. And she was straight telling him, you are a disgrace. You are a disgrace to black people. You are a disgrace to Americans. And she said, I'm like 80 or 82 years old. She says, I'm old enough to remember drinking from the different water fountains. The one, the water fountain that said for black people and then the other water fountain for, said for white people. I had to drink in different water fountains than other people that I lived around. But the one thing I did not have to worry about is when I went back to my community, it not being safe. Or my community being tore up. Because back then we didn't have that. You know, it's, it is a disgrace. You go look at some of these communities where these people have been moving in. You look at some of these businesses and stuff where they've been moving in. You look at the trail from Venezuela to the United States of America, and it looks like nothing but a straight garbage dump. And every area that they walk through, they pass through, they just destroy, leave shit and piss and, and garbage and stuff all over the place. And that's just what they do. They're not going to change for us. They're not going to change for anybody else. They don't care about our way of living. They care about what it takes to get to the next step in their life. They're building their gangs up here. They're building up their presence. They're building up a name for themselves. Just like MS-13 did back in the day. And when they feel the threat, when they feel that there's no more money coming in from the government, when they feel that that's gone... Good luck. It's going to be hell. And let's talk about our city officials and stuff. Do you think that there's just random people coming in that are buying up these apartment buildings and these houses and turning them into government housings, houses? No. It's your city officials that are doing it. They're creating fake LLCs. They're creating fake companies. And they're coming in and they're buying up apartment buildings and houses and stuff like that. And... They are housing these illegals because there's X amount of dollars that these families get for being in these apartments. Well, that means the landlord has to get paid for being on this government housing as well. Well, that landlord might be your city manager, might be your mayor, might be your the governor of your state. It, that landlord might be the, the different aldermen that, that represent the different districts and stuff where you're from. It's not just random people that come up with $400,000 to buy this out and then let's go ahead and rent this out to... A lot of it is your city officials that are doing it because they are getting paid. It sucks, man. It's, it's, it's sad how Brandon Johnson sat there at that table and let that lady say all those things to him and didn't even have a single expression change on his face. He just sat there like this the whole time. Didn't even show emotion, didn't show anything. Just let that lady talk, and then she finished with, you are a disgrace. That's like, that That would be like his mama there, standing there scolding him. A woman that old. Brandon Johnson ain't that old. He's a goofy looking son of a gun, but he ain't that old. You know, I think we need to start everybody across the board. 
with electing different officials than what we're used to and what we're what we're so comfortable uh, because of their skin color or because of where they're from, and start electing them more on their policies and what they what they are going to do and and have done uh, for the community and for us as Americans, you know, that's where we need to start. And we got a couple months left before the election, but it's going to be chaotic. It is going to be chaotic. It's already starting to get there. Two assassination attempts on, on Donald Trump. Come on, man. Even that dude from uh, the Cuomo dude came forward and said, uh, you know, even though I don't agree with what Trump says and his policies and stuff like that, and he should be criticized for it, I do not agree that he anybody should be trying to attack him to take his life or anything like that because of political differences and he said i had to reach out to him to to apologize that he's having to go through all this he shouldn't have to go through this he said if it was me and i was going through this you'd never see my face this dude has like grandchildren that he could he could lose out on and everything else and and he's still putting his life out there he's putting still putting his life on the line for the american people and what he believes in that in itself is commendable. Because Cuomo said, if that started happening to me, I'd go in hiding. I wouldn't be out in public for anybody to attempt to assassinate me. That's pretty strong coming from him. That should tell you everything you need to know right there. Y'all be blessed. I love y'all. Vote Trump 2024. That's all I can say. If you want to change, that's the only way we're going to get some kind of change. Take care. Oh, and Hillary thinks that us social media influencers that are boosting Trump should be uh, prosecuted because uh, that's exactly what Mueller did to um, the Russians with the Trump interference or whatever they called it. That she thinks that we should get the same treatment uh, if we're boosting somebody like Donald Trump, we should be prosecuted for it. Fuck her. Anyway. Have a great day. Y'all be blessed.